should I sell my crypto now and buy back tomorrow when there's a dip? Okay, so I think let's just make this more general. So should you sell now and buy the dip, uh, right? Or, or can you time the top and bottom basically? <laughs> uh, Bill, what do you- Okay, well, I'm, I'm flattered to be asked the question, but uh, you know, my hour to hour crystal ball is in the shop. Uh, I would I would say that if you've got money on the table, what what do we always say on the show? Like what did we say all the way up in DeFi? You can never get fired taking profits. Okay, that's a Wall Street motto. The retail motto is fortunes are made by buying low and selling too early meaning things rise and rise and rise and rise, and it's okay to get off the train and take your money. So with the mottos all out there, let me say it this way. If you're asking us if you should sell and take profits, you have already answered your own question. (laughs) Taking profits is not a bad thing. Take them. All right. Now, is crypto going to get slammed tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a 2% slam or a 6 or 10% slam. I don't know. I do know that it's easier to buy dips after you've booked some profits. In other words, Ian's motto, as I've remembered from DeFi, is pay yourself. It's easier to buy the dip if you've taken some profits. So I guess the answer to the question is take some profits and be there for the dip. Right. Yeah. If, if crypto starts mooning again, it's so easy in crypto to just jump right on in when it's going up. Right. It's a lot easier to do that than it is to try to catch the falling knife to catch, to buy the dip. You've got to be mentally strong. And the way to get mentally strong is to pay yourself. Yeah. I mean, uh, all solid points. So I'll just add to that by saying, if, if that's your plan, make sure you have a plan. So if you, if you're planning to, exit and buy the dip, have everything planned out. Obviously nothing can always be hundred percent planned out, but I'm saying have an entry and exit point because that's that's one, one thing I know traders always preach about is know your entry and exit points, whether you have a stop loss, what have you, have everything planned out so that when it happens, you execute on it. Don't just say, I'm gonna get out and buy tomorrow when I feel like it, depending on what the chart says, right? Have an actual plan uh, is what I would add. Now, Bill, let's say this person is at a loss on this trade. How would you, uh, what would you do? Let's say okay. they bought maybe an altcoin is crashing, or let's say they bought Bitcoin and Bitcoin is correcting. Let's say that they thought Bitcoin is going to 20K and they bought more and then it, it dipped. What would you do if they're at a loss in this trade? Okay, so if we're talking about trading, where you know we're going to be in and out multiple times throughout the day or the week, okay? Or especially if you you've bought an alt and it's crash and you have a bag, okay? Frequently, I tell people to get rid of the bag and clear your head, particularly if you did something like you put all your eggs in one basket. If you made a mistake, clear out the mistake, because again, you got to clear your head, right? You're not too late and you're not too early. The time in crypto is now, okay? It is now. So if you if you FOMO'd into Bitcoin and it dips on you, okay, um, make sure you have your stop loss, right? Make sure you you at least manage risk. All right, yeah, um, very true points. Thank you, Bill. So let's check in here with the audience and see what they have to say. Tell us what you think. Uh, do you think it makes sense to sell and buy back tomorrow? Somebody says Bitcoin is for whales and margin traders only. Then somebody says uh, at a loss, keep it in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, David says, yes, Bill, I agree. Clear your bag, but not all at once. All right. David says phase out. All right. Cool. So keep keep those comments coming. Tell us what you think and be sure to smash the like button and subscribe.